Welcome back to The Pulse. Before the break, we said booze, blues, and tattoos. What's that all about? Lauren Lee, why don't you bring us up to speed? Hey, trademark Josh. Hey. <laughs> it's okay. him a dollar. <laughs> I did. I did a really fun little segment on tattoos. I reached out into the community. I asked people to tweet me pictures of their gaming-related tattoos. Some people had StarCraft tattoos. Some people had uh, Pokemon tattoos. I mean, it really ranged all across the board. And I did a cute little segment. And this is it. Hi guys, my name is Lauren Elise, and today we're going to take a look at the community and how people show their love for esports. There are a lot of different ways that you can show your love for esports by attending events, supporting your favorite players, playing the games, or you can take it to a whole nother level and express yourself through art. I got to wondering how many people would go as far as to take some permanent branding to their skin and tattoo their favorite logos or their favorite gaming characters on their bodies. Here is a girl who has not only one, but three gaming related tattoos. On her arm, she has a bright yellow Pikachu tattoo. Right below it is Yoshi from Mario Brothers. And right below him is a Protoss probe from SC2. I also found a guy who tattooed this symbol from an anime on the back of his left shoulder. He said that this is the curse mark that Orochimaru gave Sasuke in Naruto. Say that five times fast. And check out this tattoo from Spawn on the right side of this guy's rib cage. Ouch, I bet that's a sensitive area. Another fan tweeted me a really cute little mushroom from Mario Brothers on the inside of his forearm. Now, we all know that people get passionate about their StarCraft race, like Clint Johnson, a guy who loves Zerg so much that he got the swirly logo tattooed twice on each arm. Now that is some love. Tara Babcock also tweeted me her gaming tattoos on her right foot. Very colorful and cute, I approve. Another girl with a Zerg tattoo tweeted me her photo. It sure seems like Zerg is one of the most popular race tattoos to get. But every now and then, there is someone who likes to play more than one race, like this guy, who tattooed the Protoss and Zerg races on each of his forearms. If there are any girls out there with a Terran tattoo, you guys would make a very cute couple. Next up, we have another guy with multiple gaming tattoos. He has the Horde insignia in bright red on his left shoulder and a Yoshi tattoo right below it from Mario Brothers. I came across another guy who has a very nice collection of Pokemon characters on his leg. But the winner for most gaming tattoos goes to Greg McCarthy, who has a total of four different characters on his body. He has a Horde symbol from the World of Warcraft on his forearm, a tattoo of Vault Boy from Fallout, Vivi from Final Fantasy, and a StarCraft Marine on his right arm. Now that's showing some pretty permanent love. I'd like to give a big shout out to everyone that tweeted me their tattoos. Thank you so much for sharing your ink with all of us. Until next time, my name is Lauren Elise and you're watching The Pulse. And there it is. That is crazy. I didn't know so many people were going to reach out to me and show me all of their tattoos. But I think there's someone else here, Roddy, yeah, that needs to kind of level up. It's kind of it's kind of funny that you mentioned that, Lauren Lee. I was talking to Carmack earlier in the week, and he reminded me of a little something. He had a little just, message just one, for Rotterdam. One more thing sure. that I have to say. Um, I was on this show with Rotterdam every week for a relatively long time and on this show Rotterdam has pledged to get a Protoss tattoo. Kevin, be a man. <laughs> <laughs> be a man, says Carmack. Yeah. Roddy, you've been talking about getting a tattoo wow. for as long as I've known you. <laughs> and every time, okay, I'm going to get my tattoo, guys. Every time, too. I'm, I'm going to get my tattoo on Tuesday. Yeah. I'm going to get my tattoo on when I'm going to get my tattoo on. I'm going to Holland. I'm going to get my tattoo with my mom. <laughs> Kevin's own mother <laughs> was like, son, you're being a wimp. <laughs> you need to man up. And Kev's like, sorry, mommy, I'm not doing it today. <laughs> Yeah, it's that's uh, all true, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't really know what to say. Uh, for the people who wonder, like, the Protoss tattoo, there was a story behind that. Um, back then I was playing uh, a lot. Uh, even though I was already commentating for ESL, I was, like, 
playing very often and I was quite vocal about ratio balance and I was still in the Warcraft 3 mindset of that if anything was beating me it was obviously imbalanced because hey I was freaking good <laughs> <laughs> at least I like to think so so in that moment I played Protoss and I really felt that like Zerg and Terran were way better so I said like oh, I'm so sure that the Protoss is not gonna win Seabit if a Protoss wins Seabit I'll take a Protoss there too and then Comic is like deal but then like they suddenly announced like four Korean invites <laughs> and three of them are Protoss and Ace ends up winning Seabit that's so such a Carmack bet yeah. he's like he's like okay <laughs> he goes and he invites so the three best Protoss players in the world that's uh, the story behind it like Squirtle was there too Squirtle uh, uh, so yeah, <laughs> you know, okay, I might, I might, man, I'll just put it at like the bottom of my feet, like this size. <laughs> <laughs> I think it needs to be done, man. I think okay. we've had enough of the, uh, of the promises. Now ben, it's, I'm gonna now get it's, a tattoo. now it's on the internet, so yeah. you can't run away from it anymore. I know. It's officially out there, so. I've been uh, a little go about it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie.